I know you might have read the title and the title might have had the word God inside it, but this isn't just for the religious people. It's for everybody, this video. Now, let me just explain one thing first and foremost, okay? Yes, I'm Muslim and yes, I believe in God. Now, somebody put a question to me the other day saying, you're trying to be a smart ass, to be honest with you. He said, well, if you believe in God and you believe you're the perfect being, then why are you taking TRT? Why do you take testosterone? Why did you take steroids? Well, allow me to explain. Okay, so yes, I do believe that God made the perfect being. If you look at everything I mentioned in that video, talking about our spinal cord, our brain, our function, bodily function, the heart function, the lung function, breathing, every single thing is designed to perfection. Whether it's God, if you believe in God, or whether it's science. Whatever it is, bro, let's not argue with that. Okay, moving forward. TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. If I believe in God so much, why should I be taking something that's man-made? Why am I taking synthetically manufactured testosterone? Why am I taking a man-made substance when God's design was so perfect? And here's why. You see, God made us with testosterone. And if you go back and you go back just 50 years, 60 years, male testosterone was really high. An 80-year-old guy who died in 1980, if you check his testosterone, and they have done, they have proof for this, they have actual evidence, scientific proof for this, he died with high testosterone. Higher testosterone than many 19-year-old kids have nowadays. Higher testosterone than many 30-year-olds have nowadays. Definitely 30-year-olds. The point I'm trying to say is this. Back in those days, they were not trying to chemically castrate us. There was nothing out there that was lowering our testosterone, like desk jobs cereals, oats, milk, fast food, chocolates, smoothies, Starbucks, McDonald's. I mean, McDonald's might have been around, but nobody was eating the amount that they're eating today. Ice cream. The list goes on and on. Netflix, Pornhub. Yes, that lowers your testosterone. Crazy, I know, but it does. So back in those days, only 50 years ago, not long, I'm not talking a thousand years ago, I'm talking 50 years ago. If you took a guy 50 years ago, his testosterone was peak primal. You only have to look at pictures from the 1970s of, of a beach and there's no fat people. Every person is in shape. Why is that? So the point I'm trying to say is this. Yes, God's design is perfect, but humans have won in lowering our testosterone. They don't want men to be men no more. And if anybody wants to argue with me around that, you might as well get the hell off this channel right now. Everybody knows what they're trying to do to us right now. They do not want men to have that masculine urge. In fact, that masculine urge right now, that masculine aura is now classed as toxic masculinity. If you are a man's man in today's society, you're classed as toxic. If you say I'm a man's man, People immediately think, oh, does he go and beat his wife? Is he one of those kind of guys? No. Being a man is about having testosterone. That's what men have. We have that hormone inside us. The difference is, in the past 20, 30, 40 years, we've been drinking water with birth control tablets residue inside it. The water is high estrogen. The flu it's, there's fluoride inside the water, which is causing our estrogen to rise and testosterone to dip. There's so many things, the plastics that we drink our bottled water from is causing our testosterone to dip. So the point I'm trying to say to those people who say to me, you're a Muslim, isn't God's design perfect? Why are you having testosterone? Why are you taking TRT? I thought God was perfect. Yes, God was perfect, but guess what? In this case, when it comes to TRT, humans won. Humans won the battle against God in the natural suppression of testosterone because right now moving forward from 2020 to 2022 i say that or 2023 moving forward every single male by the time he hits 20 his testosterone is going to be zero you know when i was a little bit younger and i say a little bit younger 10 years ago people used to be like oh testosterone declines when you hit 30 wrong testosterone now declines when you hit 20 i know that because i see the blood work the blood work that I get sent in by young guys nowadays, 20, 21, 22, and I say, have you taken gear before? They're like, no. What do you do? I'm doing a laboring job. What, you're a bricklayer? Yeah. I'm a grafter. I'm a plasterer. I'm an electrician. 
Guys that are doing manual labor jobs nowadays, I am seeing a trend in low testosterone. Why is that? And these guys are in shape. What is it? They're lifting every single day. They're going to the gym. They're eating good food. A lot of these guys are in good shape as well. Why is their testosterone low? I think the light battery just died there. Even the light's testosterone is low. Why is their testosterone low? Because there's so many outside interferences. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm not one of those conspiracy theorists when I say they. You know who I'm talking about, guys. The companies that are making money off you. They want your testosterone to be zero and they won the battle. So all I'm doing by taking testosterone, I'm not going against God's will. I am just putting back what God intended. That is it. If anything, I am doing what I class as the Lord's work, as God's work. We as males should have testosterone, high testosterone. And yet guys are walking around like little bitches right now. So what I'm doing isn't against God's will. This is not against anti-Islamic. This is not against my religion. This is pro-religion. This is pro-God. This is pro-life. What they've done to you guys, and on top of that, they've made you believe that testosterone is bad for you and illegal, but they'll sell you cigarettes. They'll sell you alcohol and they'll sell you porn. In fact, they won't even sell you porn. They'll give it for free. Have you noticed something like the porn is free? Surely that should tell you straight away there and then there's something wrong with this shit. If they're giving it us for free, how crazy is it? And on top of it, look, look, look how wrong and how bad society is, yeah? How shit it is nowadays. They're giving you access to any female you can imagine, really, you can think of a female right now. Big tits, big ass, blonde hair, small tits, this coat, that coat, whatever. Anything you want to imagine, you type it in on the address bar and it will find you someone, 10 out of 10, having a full on, you know what. That's how much porn there is out there. Yet you still go on OF and pay women to do stuff. How insane is that? I mean, if they stopped making porn 10 years ago, right? Let's say 10 years ago they stopped making porn. There was still enough porn on the internet to go around for centuries. But yet it is a growing industry every single day. It's free every single day. And you guys are still paying for it every single day. So where's who is winning the battle? God ain't winning, bro. I'll tell you that right now. There might have been a time where God was winning. There might have been an era when God was winning. And there might still be a time later on down the line where God wins. But if there's guys like me who ain't fighting the good fight, who ain't putting stuff right, who is? So my question to the guy who wrote the comment and everybody else who says to me, are you going against God's will? My, that is my question to you. Are you going against God's will? by having low testosterone, by being lesser of a man than God intended you to be. And yes, it's your fault you're drinking the tap water. Yes, it's your fault you're out of shape. Yes, it's your fault you're fat. It's your fault you're unhealthy. It's your fault you're watching porn. It's your fault you're in bad relationships. No one else's, bro. Sorry to go off on a rant right there, but you know what I'm right. Anyway, hopefully this video gave you some value. Comment down below, like, and subscribe.